Hello there. This is, uh, I think, one of the more spooky sites in Elite. It is uh, a more unsettling environment than, than most of the places you go to. It's a Thargoid imprint site. It's the inside of the Thargoid caves. It's a very alien environment. You walk inside and there's pulsating tubes of what you can only assume is liquid and you can hear it burbling around and above and, and the, the tunnels are an organic round shape as you walk along and underfoot there is there's eggs and there's above you high high in the vaulted ceilings you've got egg sacs hanging down in sort of webbed netting and everything is a dark greenish grayish slimy color and there's spooky sounds echoing around you and previously we always used to have to go in on our little moon buggies, our SRVs, and you'd trundle along the little corridors, just wide enough for your SRV to go along, bumping up and down over the kind of the ribbed veins that you're traveling on top of, the conduits for whatever sludgy, caustic juices that are traveling around the environment. These are grown buildings, so they're not built by the Thargoids, they, they grow them, and we know now we know that these are crashed Thargoid spaceships, so you sort of get a feeling for what it might be like to be inside a Thargoid spaceship. And as you trundle over the knobbly surface, you, the wheels of your SRV, you might scrunch on one of those eggs. And if you do, they splash out the caustic contents of the Thargoid eggs. Obviously, the caustic nature of that material it starts to damage your SRV so you get this sort of panicked feeling that your SRV's health is ticking down as you're traveling around and it's quite a distance around these buildings there's a big kind of looped avenue around the outside connected to the cylindrical tunnels that come out and then you've got further cylindrical tunnels that lead into the central chamber and the central chamber's got these alien structures, these three kind of overhanging gantry type things, pendulous hanging protuberances from the ceiling, which have got little clamps, almost like lanterns on, or like an insect's legs maybe kind of jointed and curving slightly. And hanging from these are receptacles, receptacles into which the Thargoids place their link, their probe, and their sensor. And once all three of these items are placed in position, the center of the chamber lights up, and it lights up with the most amazing map of the galaxy, all stars spiraling around you, above you. And you really, it's incredible. It's like being in a cathedral. It's amazing. If you put things which aren't Thargoid in origin into these receptacles, different things happen. Nothing might happen, but the guardian relics, if you put a guardian relic into them, the Thargoids go absolutely mental. There's these little beasties, these floating scavengers. They feed the eggs. They seem to water them with a sort of caustic gloop that they sprinkle on from above. And you'll see them busily going about their business like little work bees doing whatever it is they do. And they have these sensors on the front, little eyes, little glowing red eyes almost. We've met the revenants and the banshees, which have glowing lights that they shine out forwards and they're quite capable of killing you. These little fellas, the scavengers, they're not as dangerous, but you get enough of them shooting at you and you, in your SRV, which has got the damaged hull, you're in real trouble. The, the particular instance where I actually felt a real sense of panic in the cave is when I, I lost my SRV whilst I wasn't in it and I was on foot and I couldn't get out because really, although now we can get out on foot in the Thargoid caves, they're not really designed for on foot traffic. You have to trick them to get in. More recently, we've discovered that the guardian relics, you can convert the guardian relic using 
this central chamber of the Thargoid imprint site, you place the Guardian relics into the receptacles instead of the Thargoid sensors, links and probes. And instead of getting the map of the galaxy up, you get a pillar of fire. The whole room turns red. It's horrific. It's so terrifying. It's nasty. And if you get too close to the pillar of fire, it does weird stuff to your SRV. And the first time I did it, I had no clue it was going to do that. And I, and, and I couldn't understand why my SRV was leaping up and spinning around in circles. I was doing backflips. I was trying to get out with one of my relics and I got caught too close to the central pillar and I'd taken some heat damage from it and it had impacted upon my SRV and as I was driving out desperately going along these windy tunnels trying to find the exit my SRV would be spinning round and I was trying you'd be trying to drive and you, you realize you're driving at 90 degrees or 180 degrees and you feel more and more panicked as you try and get out and it's really really just getting onto your ship after you've got out is just such a such a relief it's great fun anyway thank you uh, for watching me drawing pictures i appreciate it as always and uh, i will uh, be back again some other time